Hello, this is Monty Parent with Outdoor Fathers. I want to talk to you about why it's important to have control over your children when you're in the woods and have a weapon in the mix. I want to try to tell you a true story that happened to my, my boys and I when we were out on a fun hunt when Evan was five and Skylar was three. At that age, I took them out on hunts and I specifically to design them to be fun. And the way I did that was I took them out on warm days. I used a pop-up blind that by itself made it fun for them. Uh, I, I left when they were ready. I didn't make them stay longer than they wanted to, and and also um, always left in the af on afternoon hunts when it was before it was necessary to need a flashlight before it got dark. Uh, I remembered when I first started hunting when I was young how ominous the woods was in the dark and how every little sound uh, was alarming to me in the dark, and and I just didn't want to give them an opportunity to to develop a fear of the dark. So we'd always leave when when it was just getting dusky light. And I know I was giving up some prime time, but. But that wasn't the important thing to me. The important thing was making it fun for my boys and, and removing the possibility of them developing any fears that would have a, an impact on their uh, possibility to enjoy the woods in the future. But in this particular case, we were leaving the woods. It was still it was a little, it was still uh, enough light that we didn't need a flashlight. And we were walking out to a pond dam, and I had a hold of Evan's hand, and Evan had a hold of Skye's, and and I had to look down and see a coiled copperhead, and I immediately gave the instruction stop. Well, they reacted just like they should. Uh, Evan made one more step and, and, and stopped. That's how long it took to react. Skylar did the same thing. And by the time they got stopped, Skylar, he was the closest one to the snake because the snake was off to my right, and that's where Skylar was. Uh, by the time he got stopped, he was uh, one more step, and he had been in striking this this that coil copperhead. And I was so thankful that I had control over my boys. I was so thankful that uh, that we avoided the possibility of Skylar getting hurt or, or, or maybe even uh, losing his life. Uh, I don't know what a coil copper, what a copperhead bite would do to a child at three years old, but I know it wouldn't be good. I'm glad that uh, I had spent the time at home when they were little, insisting that they live, that they listen to me. It would have been easier to to have let them do their own thing. It would have been easier to not have been diligent and make them obey me. But but that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted kids that were a positive part of my life and. And I see so many parents out there with kids and when they give them instruction, it's like they haven't said anything. And I don't know what those parents are thinking, but they certainly are not doing those children any any service. They they certainly are not preparing them for life. And, and in this case, uh, having control over my child um, turned a bad situation into a situation that, 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 that turned out to be something that I could brag on them about because they listened. Something that I could make a point and show them why it was important to listen to me. And they got it. They really did. And I was glad they did. And, and, and please, please, uh, take your, if you're hunters, take your kids out in the woods, enjoy them. But if, 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 if you've got to have control of them. And while they're young, it's easy. you got their attention. Just be diligent and do the work, and it'll make it a whole lot easier as they get older. This is Monty Perrin with Outdoor Fathers. Get outdoors.